Okay, so what I want to do today is I want to show you how to flash the newest Jelly Bean version 4.2.2 to your Samsung Galaxy Note. This is the original one, the i717. Now I want to say right now this is not an official update from AT&T at all. Uh, right now the, the latest update from AT&T is Ice Cream Sandwich, sandwich I believe it's 4.0.4. .4. And so that's the latest official one. They, don't, they do not have Jelly Bean out. Um, it's possible that they're going to come out with Jelly Bean. There's a thread on XDA uh, where there's people going back and forth. And there was a, a guy on there who uh, said he called and talked to AT&T and Samsung at the same time, had him on a three-way call. And supposedly the uh, Samsung tech confirmed that there will be uh, an official update to Jelly Bean, but that's one tech, you know, who knows? These companies can uh, change their mind on a whim, and uh, we may or may not get that jelly bean. So what I'm showing you today is not the official jelly bean, uh, but you will have Android 4.2.2 on your phone nonetheless. Um, so this is a custom ROM that we're going to be flashing to it today, and specifically it's going to be Cyanogen Mod. And uh, I'm going to take, um, uh, and we'll talk about this more in a little bit, but Jamie D81's version of Cyanogen Mod, he takes it and kind of tweaks it a little bit. Okay, so to be able to flash uh, a custom ROM to our phone, we have to have a custom recovery. And I'll show you what a recovery is in a little bit. We'll boot back up into this recovery. We'll do this later. It's where you hold volume up and down at the same time, then push and hold uh, the power button. You'll let off the power button, hold these, and it'll bring you up into a recovery menu. It's, it's kind of a different menu, but in that menu, uh, you can uh, completely wipe your phone, do a data factory reset. There's some other options there, but one option is to be able to flash uh, an, an update to it. Now, if you are on the stock uh, recovery, that's the recovery that comes to you from AT&T. And if you haven't done anything to your phone, that's what's on there is that stock recovery. In that stock recovery, all you can do is flash ROMs that are signed, digitally signed by AT&T. And so this Cyanogen mod, this custom ROM we're going to have is definitely not signed. So to be able to flash it, that custom ROM, we have to have a custom recovery. So that's going to be our first step today is flashing this custom recovery. Okay, now <clears throat> one thing I want to say is uh, before you do any of this, you're going to have to have the proper USB driver so that your uh, computer can read your phone properly. And so if if you don't already have Samsung Keys, the program downloaded, and uh, if you don't have that, you can go to this uh, to this link right here, and I'll post a, a link to it. And you come here, and you can download this USB driver for your uh, AT&T i717. And you'll need to be you'll need to download this and install this first before we do anything else, because if you can't connect to your computer, uh, then then it's nothing's going to work here. So this is going to be your first step. Make sure you have that, and if if your phone has already uh, been connected to your computer and it's recognized by it, then, then we're good to go on that. Okay, so the way we're going to flash this custom recovery to your phone is you're going to have to download uh, a program called Odin. That's O-D-I-N. And uh, here's a link to download this Odin 3 version uh, 1.85. And I'll put a link in the description to this uh, to this side also where you can download uh, this Odin. You have to have this program to be able to flash the custom recovery that we're going to be flashing. Okay. Um, sorry, let me find it here. Okay. And here's the recovery that we're going to be use, using. is uh, This TWRP is short for uh, Team Win Recovery Project. Um, this is kind of the, the new recovery. The, the old custom recovery used to be Clockwork Mod. Uh, this TWRP really is the is the new one, and it's really the one that, that gets used a lot. So it's what you need to do is go to this link, and I'll put a link to this as well. You want to go down here to the bottom, and you want to download Open Recovery TWRP 2.4.4.0, and you want to get the one that says .tar on it. Now, there's different ways that you could flash this recovery to your phone, and, you know, the we could go through all those different ways, but this is the way I'm showing you how to do it today. And so this is the one you want to download is the one that is dot tar. Okay. So I've already downloaded, uh, I've already downloaded this Odin 
and I've already downloaded this uh, recovery. Okay, and I are and I'll have them right out here on uh, on my on my desktop. Okay, so when you download this Odin, it's going to have two files. Just go ahead and extract both of those to your desktop, and then this Open Recovery, just leave it as a .tar. That's exactly the way we need it. So go ahead and just put both of those onto uh, onto your desktop. Okay, so now <clears throat> in our phone. Okay, so now in our phone is what we need to do is we need to uh, boot back into uh, the download mode, okay? So let me show you how to do that. With your phone on, push and hold volume down and hold the power button at the same time. Just hold those for a while and eventually your, your screen will go black, okay? So I'm continuing to hold volume down and power at the same time. The screen went black, I just felt the vibrate. I'm gonna let off of that power button, continue holding volume down and in a second, it's going to bring this up where it says, Warning, a custom OS can cause critical problems. They're just trying to keep you from, uh, from doing anything. They want you to, to keep it Samsung. Okay, so uh, you go ahead and push up to continue. <clears throat> now, I'll say this real quick. If you do it this way, it's going to affect your flash counter. Okay, I, I know it's so tiny there you can't hardly see it. But it says custom binary download, yes, 13 counts. I've been doing this quite a bit. So theoretically, the, why they do this is if you send this in for uh, warranty work, um, Samsung or AT&T could see this and see that you've been messing with it and could deny you of having warranty work done. But there's also a way for you to be able to, to reset this back to zero. Okay, I just want to let you know that. All right, so once we come to this point, we're in our download mode. This is where we need to be. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my, my uh, micro USB cable, I'm going to plug it into my phone. Well, I'm sorry, before I do that, I want to go ahead and open this Odin uh, 1.85. Uh, okay, now I'm going to go ahead and plug my phone in. And you can see right here that <clears throat> it shows yellow. Okay, that means that it's reading my phone on a port. Now, if... Um, if it doesn't show up yellow there for you, that means that you probably didn't install that USB drive or didn't install it properly. Make sure you have that USB driver that we talked out, talked about at the beginning. Make sure that's installed. Okay, so that's what I want is for this to be showing yellow. That means it's connected to my phone. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to this PDA. I'm going to click on PDA. And right here, this open recovery, this is what we downloaded, uh, this TWRP. I want to open that. Make sure it's under PDA that that's selected. Make sure repartition is not checked. Okay, and then I'm going to push start. And you can see here it's flashing this uh, recovery.img. It finished, everything went good. That doesn't take long at all. It passed, it's resetting my phone, and my phone is going to be rebooting. Okay, so my phone's rebooting now. went through that process just fine. Okay, now next step is that, that flashed our recovery. Now we've got a custom recovery where we can now flash our custom ROM. All right, so <coughs> this, is, um, this is the, uh, the ROM that we're gonna be flashing. You could go over here to Sign Engine Mod and get the official Sign Engine Mod, download the newest nightly and flash that, that's fine. I prefer to use Jamie D81's version because, like I said earlier, he takes uh, Jelly Bean. I mean, he takes the the Synergen Mod ROM, he tweaks it a little bit and uh, makes it uh, makes it a little bit better for our phones. Okay, so I'll have a link in the description to this thread. You can download uh, the ROM, the Preview 10 here. Uh, he's always updating this. Uh, sometimes he may go two days between. Sometimes he goes five or six days between. So there may be a different pre preview version here, but it's basically going to be the same thing. You need to download the the ROM, which is the preview version, and download the the GAPS. Okay, that stands for Google Apps, and you'll need to flash that as well to be able to uh, get to your Google Apps, like the Play Store and Gmail, those types of things. Okay, so go ahead and download those two things, and I've already downloaded those, and I've got those two things right here. On, uh, on my desktop. So, so what I'm going to do now, my, my phone's still connected here. So I'm going to go to computer, 
go into SGI 717 there. And on my phone, which will be the internal storage, I'm going to take these and put these two files over here. And I've already done that. Uh, the gaps uh, 0301, March 1st, 2013. And then the sign engine mod 10.1, the unofficial, the uh, March 19th of 2013. So I've already got those two files on the internal uh, memory of my phone. Okay, so now <clears throat> I'm going to unplug my phone. Everything's already on my phone. All right. Now, so what I want to do is I want to boot back into my custom recovery now so that I can flash those two files that we just put on there. So like I said earlier, we're going to push volume up, volume down. At the same time, hold those, then push and hold the power button. And then I'm going to continue to hold the power button. Okay, screen went black. I'm going to let off the power button, continue holding up and down on the volume. And in a second, we'll boot back up into our recovery, the TWRP. Okay, after a little while, you can let go. You can see there, team win. <clears throat> Okay, so now before I go ahead and install those, I need to I need to wipe, I need to clear my phone off. Okay, so I haven't said it yet. Um, make sure that you have everything backed up before you get into this process. So I'm going to go ahead and do factory reset. I'm going to slide over to uh, to do a factory reset. Okay, go back. Now I want to go to uh, wipe Dalvik cache. Okay, that didn't take long at all. Then just wipe the standard cache. Okay, now I'm going to go back. So I've wiped factory data, reset, wipe cache, wipe Dalvik cache. Now I'm going to go to install. Okay, so here we go. Um, in, so you can see up here it's selected on internal storage. I'm going to find that CM 10.1 2013. See. Okay, yeah, I had to go up a level. Okay, so right here. All right, now a good thing about Team Win is I can add more than one file at a time to Flash. So I've got that set as my first one. Now I'm going to go to Add More Zips, and I'm going to go find that GAPS version. That GAPS, that 2013-0301. And so you can see I've got file 2 of 10. All right, so now I'm ready. I'm going to flash both of those. Swipe to confirm, and it's going to flash uh, both of these for me. Okay, so it's flashed both of those. Uh, so, so what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and push reboot system now. <clears throat> Let it reboot, and it's probably going to take a little while right now because it's going through the initial boot up process, and it's going to take a while to kind of cycle through everything here. All right, so there you go. You can see I'm uh, booting back up into uh, Jelly Bean here. You can tell this is definitely not an AT&T stock type thing where you have all this kind of junk that it boots up that you see. Uh, I'll show you in just a second that uh, we are indeed on uh, Jelly Bean 4.2.2. I'm just going to skip all this just to show you. You can go through all that. You can see how this is a very vanilla basic Android. So about phone. There, 4.2.2. Turn off the phone, turn it back on. Well, so you can see there, it's got those lock screen widgets. It only comes in the newest jelly bean. There you go. I hope this has helped you. If it has, give me a thumbs up.